What's going on guys? Welcome back to another War Thunder video. Today I'm flying out the BF-109 G2 Trop. The reason I'm flying this is because I was uh, interested in seeing how this performed compared to the F4. Now some of you remember me flying the F4 with uh, Speedy out in a little squad battle. Here I'm just flying out a solo mission without the gun pods. And, I, and it's, a, it's an important thing to, to mention because the gun pods do make a difference in the way the plane performs. But also how much ammunition you, you end up having. Now, back in the day, the gun pods used to make a big impact on the plane's performance. Most notably, it's the uh, turn rate. So for some time, it wasn't advised that you take out the gun pods. It's just, you, you know, you get a better performance by leaving them off. Now, I don't think it's such an important thing. And having flown this, this uh, plane without the gun pods, I can't see that the gun pods are going to make that big of a difference that it'll make the plane unflyable or something like that. I, I think the the primary difference will be with turning, but usually when you fly a BF-109 you're not usually using it as a turn fighter. You're using it as kind of a combination of a boom and zoomer and an energy fighter. I tend to fly it as a boom and zoomer. That's how I fly most of the German planes, quite frankly. It's definitely more maneuverable than a Falk Wolf 190, uh, the uh, short-nosed versions anyway. With or without the gun pods, this thing, uh, it climbs like a dream. It didn't take any time at all to get up to 6,000 meters. The engine overheats pretty quickly when you use WEP, so I, re I recommend just flying, uh, or just climbing at 100 degree uh, throttle. And it, it climbs just fine. I was actually surprised. I'm above this Typhoon, so I'm just going to boom and zoom this guy and a few other planes. This guy just doesn't have enough speed to pitch up and shoot me. So I just line him up and take him out. That's one Typhoon down. And now as I zoom climb, I notice I'm flying right towards another Typhoon, so I decided to turn off a little bit to the right. I wasn't in any real danger there, because he didn't seem to be climbing uh, towards me. Right now I'm just kind of focused on trying to get uh, more, more altitude. I want to be on top of this guy as well as the Spitfire. I don't want to be at the same altitude as that Spitfire in particular because he can outturn me. I am using stealth ammunition as you may have noticed in that in that first uh, attack. I recommend using whatever you're comfortable with. You know, If you need tracers, to use tracers. I've fired German guns enough here in the last couple of months that I'm, I'm fairly confident in my shots. So I've I just been using tr uh, stealth. That does come back to haunt me just a little bit later in the video as you'll see. You know, after flying this plane, it no longer surprises me now, uh, looking back at, at all the games that I've flown against this thing, and thinking, how does the how does the BF-109 get so high? You know, I used to think this thing got uh, air spawns on some maps, and I suppose there are a few that, that, that it does, like Norway. But on, on the overwhelming majority of maps, I don't think it, it, it does. It. I think only the Fock Wolves and the ME-410s get, uh, get air spawns. With all this height, I'm, I'm, I'm able to pretty much pick and choose what, who I dive on. I want to get this Typhoon eliminated. He's got four cannons. He's an enormous threat. I immediately go into a dive, try to eliminate him, but I miss all my shots. I am way too low. Go into a vertical. It's the safest thing to do in this position because I know I don't have anyone at my altitude or above. And immediately go back into a dive. The 109 doesn't have the the weight of a of a Fock Wolf, so I don't think it has quite the same dive dive speed. However, as you can see, it's it's, it's plenty fast. I can catch this 109, uh, this, is, this premium American American 109, just fine. Some shots into him, eliminate him for the second kill. Immediately go vertical, try to locate that Typhoon. Want to make sure he doesn't uh, slide in on behind me. Calling him up to my teammates just in case there's anyone around me. I'd, I honestly haven't been paying attention to what my teammates have been doing. I've just been making sure I've been above all my uh, all my opponents. Use my flaps to position myself. Fire a couple of shots. Get a couple of hits. He turns. I'm gonna create his tail and finish him off for the third kill of the match. Now at this point, there's no one else at my altitude. There was a Spitfire a few minutes ago, but he's a 
he appears to have given up his altitude. There's a Corsair down there as well. I dive on the Spitfire. Of course, watching my uh, surroundings as I don't want to get jumped by someone who's, you know, hiding in the uh, sunlight. Sometimes the sun will uh, will hide people. Bullfighter, he's not a concern. It's an AI. Dive on the spit. Now this is where I make one of my mistakes. After getting three easy kills, I got my sights immediately on Ace of the Day. I want to get the five kills. And what I feel like I should have done is uh, gone into a slight dive. Right now I'm going to a, a fairly steep dive trying to catch this guy. I should have kept more of my, more of my altitude and boom, zoom this guy. Instead I give up all my altitude and try chasing almost all my shots. Crit his tail, but unfortunately it looks like the British made the Spitfire's tail out of titanium. Because I had the Milan uh, quite a few shots here in the next minute or two. And that tail just does not seem to want to come off. <laughs> I'm on a 67 cannon rounds. Got just under 600 rounds of uh, machine guns. I kind of go back and forth in between the cannons and, and the MGs, trying to el eliminate this guy. But this uh, Spitfire, he's a little squirrely. He doesn't want to give up very easily, and and I can respect that. I'm actually surprised he didn't try to uh, get me into a turn fight. Even if he didn't, he wouldn't have necessarily won the turn fight, obviously, but he would have uh, slowed me down and uh, allowed for the Corsair, who is unbeknownst to me, trailing me and is being hidden by the sun. Remember I was telling you about how the sun sometimes high people? Yeah, there's a Corsair coming in behind me and I have no idea that he's on, my, on his way. Put a couple more shots into this guy. My tail second just does not want to come off. <laughs> there, I finally got a tail off. That secures the fourth kill. Turn around, and there's the damn Corsair. Completely shocked me. Now, as soon as I turned around, I saw the Corsair. I thought, oh shit, I hope this is not the 1C. Is the 1C's got the cannons, or is the, is the uh, 1A's and the 1D's that only have MG's? I immediately call for support. All my team's on the opposite side of the map. They're on the other side of this, this lake that's in, in the middle of this uh, map. Theoretically speaking, a 109 isn't that bad of a turn fighter when compared to the uh, Corsair. I may have been able to beat him in a, in a uh, rolling scissors, but but truth be told, I don't fly the 109 often enough to uh, say that I was all that confident in myself, so I just decided to run. The safest bet is to run towards teammates. They likely have uh, more ammunition. I'm down to almost nothing at this point. I fired so many shots at that stupid Spitfire. Flying back to my teammates is definitely the, the safest bet to, for me to do. You know, all this reminds me of a uh, of an old video from the Mighty Jingles that I watched. Uh, he was actually the the person who turned me on to War Thunder a long time ago. It was after watching one of his one of his videos, and uh, he responded to one of his subscribers' questions, which is, uh, "How do you get someone off your six? And Jingles replied, "Have someone else shoot him," and that's absolutely true. Who doesn't like an easy kill? Just drag someone towards your teammates and have them kill him. It doesn't matter what mode you're, you're flying, whether it's arcade, uh, realistic, or simulator. Just drag the guy towards your teammates, and more often than not, they'll take care of it. Because who doesn't like to shoot someone down, you know? We want those uh, experience points and silver lions and, and all that. So I dragged this guy towards my teammates and let, let them engage. Now that I got teammates, I decided to turn and engage this guy. Because really, it's like, you know, three on one. That's not even fair. <laughs> I've got a couple of rounds I can fire at him anyway. Plus he's on my uh, teammate here, so might as well lend a little support. Of course these little machine guns don't do a whole lot of damage. Of course just as I say that he starts smoking. <laughs> Did a little engine damage, he's he's burning some fuel. However, I'm out of ammo just, just that fast. So I peel off and let my teammates take care of him. Just hope he doesn't dive on me. Looks like he's really hurting. Now that I've separated myself from that guy, I let my team know that I'm out of ammo. 
so they can take the kill without feeling like they're going to kill steal it. The Corsair is co completely fair game in my book at this point. There's nothing I can do, but I'm going to stay close though. I can show you guys the, the guy getting shot down. That, that uh, ME 410 is all over his ass. It's only a matter of time before he gets in. He has to lead the shots a little more. He's a little bit behind. Looks like that last burst just was just enough to finish him off. And that's a game. I, you know, I honestly expected the American and and British team to put up a a better fight than that. You know, you know, going back to that Spitfire that I took down a while ago. I wonder if he was returning to base because he was out of ammo. I wonder if that's why he didn't tr try to force me into a turn fight. Like he just he knew he wouldn't. Uh, be able to shoot me down because he was out of ammo from previous engagements. He didn't appear to be badly damaged from uh, engagements. It wasn't until I started shooting him that he started uh, to show some issues flying. If you do decide to take out the, the 109 G2 trap, I recommend trying out the gun pods if you, if you have those unlocked. I don't think that they hurt the plane performance that bad. And sometimes you're gonna need the, the additional uh, ammunition. If I'd been fine with a wingman, I probably wouldn't have needed the the additional ammunition. But you never know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the section below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Take care, guys.